to your left. And back to toes out, toes out, heels up, and lean forward. And space as far as you can go. Bring it in, shake it out. Bring one foot in, bring your chest, keep your back straight, push your chest out. And push up. Push it out.
So we're trying to keep it straight on. Now, as we execute the block, we, we snap the hips and the shoulders back. And then point, step, pop. And you see that pop there. It's, uh, it's just like I was talking about the whip. If you take the whip and this end goes out, pulls back, that end goes the opposite way. So the, the, the uh, snap of the whip is caused by the reaction to the action that you're doing. So it goes back to that Newton's law, every, every action is an equal and opposite reaction, okay? So by me turning my hips this way and having my arm go out the opposite way, okay, my microphone. Okay. So that's kind of the idea. You're trying to get the body to snap so that the arm goes out like a um, like at the end of a whip. Okay. All right. 
Now, let's do, let's do that one more time, same drill, but this time we're gonna do each move completely all the way through, okay? So get one heel on your line, other foot forward, and super okay. Okay, here we go, ready? Step, itch, knee, stand, stepping back, itch, knee, stand, she stepping forward, itch, knee, sign, she go stepping back, itch, knee, sign, she and your good work. Okay, shake that out a little bit. All right, now the next one we're going to do is shikodachi which of course everybody loves. One thing I wanna point out in Shikodachi is the position of your feet, okay? Because most people, they step out and their feet just kinda fly out to the sides, kinda sideways. If you're too far sideways, then you don't have any balance whatsoever, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna try to point your feet straight ahead and then push your knees out. Now your feet are gonna naturally turn out slightly, okay? But you notice there's tension. There's tension down here in your calf. If you're gripping the floor with your toes, there's tension in your feet, okay? Most people, when they stand in Shikodachi, they have their feet out too far, and what's happening is all the tension is right here, okay? There's no tension down here. This is kind of loose and soft because there's, there's no tightness whatsoever to the feet, okay? You gotta try to pull those feet in a little bit, okay, so you get tension. Now, the feet are trying to uh, tense in and grip the floor while your knees are pushing outward. So the knees are going out, okay? Not just down, okay? See how they went forward, okay? And that's bad because my knees are way out in front of my feet here. If somebody pushed me from the back, boom, you go fall, falling on your face really quick, okay? So the idea is you gotta push those knees out. Imagine if somebody, you, you had the shikodachi and somebody's actually pressing their knees out, okay? Or you can think like somebody's trying to push your knees in and you're trying to push against them. So you're trying to get those knees out as much as you can. So turn those toes in as much as you can, but knees out. Okay, is it a different feeling? It should be, okay? Also, your knees should be right over top of your heels, all right? You don't wanna get your feet out like this, okay? Some people stand like this and go, yeah, I got a really low stance, but you can't move. <laughs> you can barely move from this. You're not really standing in that deep a stance, okay? It may look like it, but guess what? If I were to, uh, if I were to kind of bring my legs in with the same amount of bend, I'm staying way up here, okay? That same amount of bend. So you've got to have that shoulder width and uh, two shoulder widths, try to have your feet straight and then push the knees out and see how far your feet turn out naturally and grip the floor with your toes and squeeze, okay? Push them out. You should feel tightness, okay? You should feel tension. If you do, you're working your stance right, okay? If it feels too relaxed, that's not a good stance, okay? Carly's not supposed to be relaxed, right? Okay, actually we are supposed to relax somewhat, but in a stance, a stance has to be strong. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna step and we're gonna do our shuto barai, boom, down here. And push those knees out and make sure that your feet are gripping the floor. Okay, ready, every down and step and twist. Good, notice again, just like we did in cat stance, nekawashi, we are stepping, our body is straight, and then what I'm doing at the end is twist, okay? And try not to twist those feet too far out. Okay, go backwards, ready, step, load, twist. Step, load, twist. Step, load, twist. Stepping forward, itch, knee, Side. Good, back, itch, Whoop. knee, side. 
Good, forward, quick. So do the whole thing, ready, hitch. Knee, side, step back, hitch. Knee, side, shift, and your way. Good, now shake those legs out, okay? If you feel a little burn, that's good, you're doing it right, okay? If you don't feel the burn, get low, guys. Get low, you gotta feel the burn, burn makes you stronger, okay? Thank you.